Hey everyone, so after a very long time, probably weeks in fact by the time this comes out, we are back with more Armored Core. Yeah, I know I said I would make this a series when I started, and I did intend to, but I've been running into some issues. In fact, I've been running into the issue of me just sort of uh, not being able to progress with the missions. I've been having a lot of trouble with them, and I think that's mainly because of, you know, this being, let's move the mouse off screen, with this being an uh, older FromSoft title without much of a tutorial on e or explanation on how to actually do well. Basically, you need to do a lot of shit and do a lot of upgrades to your little suit to actually make it like usable, especially in the later missions, and not have you lose like 80% of your money uh, because of the ammo and the hull damage you're taking. Plus, of course, the movement system of this game is pretty unique and it's something that I still need to get used to. But I think I've worked out a tactic. I've looked at various guides and sort of lists of people saying what's like good and what you should be buying. So again, I have something worked out and yeah, this should be a setup where we'll have a lot better weapon a lot better movement and just be overall more powerful so first things first I already have like 30k but the first thing to do here is to beat this guy in the arena essentially you have these like little PvP battles which aren't PvP but um, they're just like against uh, another suit and you do get rewards for these so this guy basically is the first one you fight um, what, what, the, why would you start, why would you start me with him behind? Ah, <laughs> uh, whatever. Um, so apparently this guy has the exact same settings and weapons as you do, so he's extremely easy. So I should be able to kill his ass. And when I kill his ass, well, you just kind of see what happens. God, the movement in this game is still difficult. People apparently, when I saw like tips and vi watched videos on what to do in this game, people apparently do this shit a lot where they, it's called bunny hopping, where they boost and do this jump, because it makes your boost last longer. But I don't think I have like the boost, like a good enough boost uh, to sustain that. In fact, I think you need a reactor for that. Uh, that's like the critical component here. Anyways, this is gonna take a while because this guy is like he's as powerful as us, so yeah. Apparently the sword does a lot of damage to him, even there is a difficult to hit. He's gotta be close, right? I overboosted myself, but this guy has to be like, yeah, he's dead. All right. Easy money. Yeah, this is why people say to do this, because this is just, yeah, anybody can do that. Let's not watch the replay, because that would be embarrassing. So anyways, the thing is, you get 1500 credits, and you might be like, what the hell? Uh, that's nothing. However, apparently now if you go into your mail, uh... You have your little reward. Congratulations on your first victory. Every time you hit a certain rank, we will present you with an AC part reward. And that's the critical stuff. That's what we want. So we get a new back part, which is, I think, a rocket launcher. Cool. So that's done. Let's go ahead and quickly save and we'll get into what else we need to do here. All right, so first thing to do here uh, this is the weapon part we got, and we can sell this for almost 30k. That's very good. Now that we've done that, we can go into the shop, and the first thing to do here is to buy a better... Hold on. I'll get a better booster. And the one we want is this one. This is the one we want, 45k, it's quite expensive, but we now have the cash. 
And of course, whenever you buy something, because this is something that people told me, which is very helpful, is you can sell anything for the same amount of money you buy it. So when we switch this out, we can happily sell our old booster. I said we can happily sell that and still get 11K out of it. And you can buy it back for 11K. So technically you don't lose anything. All right. The next thing to do here is to get a new generator. And I don't know if I'll be able to afford this, but this is the one we want. Yeah, the CGP. As you can see, this one is quite expensive, but we will get to it eventually. Basically, we need a better generator and better booster in the end to get to a point where we'll be able to get a laser rifle. And the reason you want a laser rifle is because when you have a laser weapon, you don't drain ammo during missions. So basically one of the avenues where you lose money at the end, like you lose money from the 12k reward, is gone, which is incredibly useful. Now that we've got a better booster though, we can do this mission. This is one of the missions I had a lot of trouble with because you basically need to, well, chase down another robot or AC and it's not easy because it flies like it's on rails and it just keeps getting away from you. So yeah, with a better booster, this should be easy money. See, this is what I'm talking about. He's like T-posing and hauling ass. So normally that would be a problem. But your boy has a better booster. And that makes it this easy. <laughs> this easy. Told you getting a better booster is good. But that's like what the difficult part I mentioned that... Yeah, and there's a decoy. See, I've gotten to the, the second part, but I was just not able to ever chase this guy down. I still might not be able to. <laughs> Jesus is fast. Oh man, did I fail this? No, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. He's dead. Easy money. That was still kind of a butt clencher. Luckily, we shouldn't have taken too much damage there, so we should be getting most of that 12k. And with that, yeah, we got 10k. We can build up our money reserves as well. And basically, already we're like way ahead than I ever was. Let me just mess around with the garage a little bit more because I'm sure I have more stuff that I could potentially sell here. Oh wait, shit. I have a spare one of these. Oh yeah, because you get two, don't you? I remember people mentioning this. All right, well, that's even better because with that, I should be able to now get my little generator that we want. The CGP. Yeah, just checking. I have like everything written out on my phone because <laughs> it's just how I roll. Um, and what we can do now is get the generator equipped. Sell the old generator, almost 20k. And now that we have both of these, I'm gonna show you the last piece of the puzzle, which we won't be able to get now, but this is what we want. The MWG XCW90, which is a laser rifle. It's almost 60k. And yeah, laser rifles are great because, like I said, they don't consume ammo when you use them on missions. So we still have quite a ways left for that, but we are well on our way. And already a lot of these missions will start to become way easier. So, all right, let's do some more of these missions. Uh, this one, this water supply one, I had trouble with. Uh, so we'll just see if I can do it easier with the new setup. You just, uh, this one has some FromSoft platforming. So yeah, that's always, always not easy. But it's 20k potentially, so that is a lot of cash. 
a canister of deadly poison into the water supply. Yeah, we don't want that, do we? The forces holding the dam are composed of helicopters and small MTs. Neither pose a threat in limited numbers, but there are enough of each to be cause for concern. Don't worry, I got this. Yeah, they're not kidding when they say that. Um, as I said, if you think platforming has been difficult in other From games, in like Dark Souls, and try it in Armored Core, man. But as you can see, with our extended booster and everything, we can fly for so much longer. And I think I wasn't able to really do this mission, like I mentioned. Uh, I got to a point, but I always fell into the water and all that. Uh, I never actually managed to get to the end. I'm sure it's possible, because apparently all missions are possible with, like, even the standard setup. They're just very difficult. So, yeah. Anyways, from what I've been able to tell, the enemies respawn endlessly in this game. So, not this game, in this mission. So, yeah, no point in doing anything with them. Because I think what we need to then do is... is go here yeah as you can see how do you see how quickly i recharge this sort of like bunny hopping and all this like tactics that people do is so much easier with an actual good generator and booster it's just this is a difficult mission because there's just nowhere to avoid enemy fire and that's the trouble i ran into quite a bit when i was doing this with the standard setup and then this is about as far as I got, because flying back from here to the other end is not the easiest, but I think what we need to do is go back there, this way. Yeah, and this is where, when I gave up and decided to like look into how to actually play this game, this is where I sort of died. I think this is the way we need to go. I could probably sort these assholes instead of wasting ammo. Yep. Luckily, there's no timer on this shit or anything like that, so we can basically take as long as we need. See, we now see the target, which is good. I don't think I've gone this far before. Just navigating to it. Oh, hello there. Please tell me I'm not actually hitting him, am I? And this is another thing people told me uh, that. Um, pressing both the look up and look down buttons it centers you that's annoying that they keep shooting at you oh come on and you still take damage if that still takes money from me I'm gonna call BS on that anyways this is the mission I finally did it this is what I'm talking about having a good setup because I was not able to pass this before that's quite a lot of money um we're getting closer. I mean, we get an A rank on that, so GG's. We'll do a couple of more of these, and we, I think, will have enough money to actually get the laser weapon. There's another way to make money uh, that I've seen in these guides. If you, well, first of all, I should save. But basically, the other way to do this is there is this AC test thing, and I think AC test one is a shooting gallery, and if you get an S rank on this, apparently it gives you um, a leg, like a pair of legs, and that just, you can sell that for like 60k, but you need like another extra thing to be able to get an S rank on this, so I was like, since I got money already, 
because I was doing the missions, I might as well just like yeah use that. I don't need to be OP like from the start because apparently you can sell those legs for like 60k. But I think you need yeah like some right arm weapon for that as well. You can't just like use your laser sword for that. That's the issue. But I'm gonna try. Apparently it's all about the accuracy. But again, since I have a melee weapon, I can't like get a actual S rank. Plus I've already failed with the accuracy, I think. Still, let's see what we end up with. I'm gonna guess B. Nah, I'm too optimistic. C. Music was crazy. I got an S rank. How the ass did I get an S rank on that? I got the legs. I got the legs I want. <laughs> I wasn't totally wasn't expecting that. Cause I tried it and I was like, damn. This shit ain't working. Because I was like getting E's and D's. And that didn't seem... What I just did there didn't seem that much better than what I've done previously. But hey. I'll take it. Congratulations. Your test results are the best we've ever seen. In recognition of your performance, we've prepared a reward. It's an AC Leckbart model number whatever. Volar. Holy shit. Save immediately. Because I don't want to redo this shit. That's the one. Do you see the weight there? It's like a Havo cosplay. Selling it 44k. Man, that is a lot of cash. And with that, we can buy the XCW. And we can equip it. And I can probably sell my machine gun as well. Yep, get that 11k back. And now, people have already told me that there are like these optional parts. And apparently there's one here that... Uh, where is it? Improves braking, improves turning speed. It's 41k. I could get it, but you know what? Before we go ahead and do that, I'm gonna save again. Don't want to accidentally buy some something shitty and then just like be out of money. Because apparently lag parts are the other parts which influence how you turn. And apparently there are some ones here which also give you like pretty good turning speed. Obviously not these huge ones, but... And like look at this one for example, so... I'm not sure. You can make yourself into an ATST if you want to. I've actually never gone this far down. Oh, you can make yourself a quadruped. <laughs> or even a tank. Man. And what is this? Do you like you become a boat or something? Or you float, don't you? Alright, well, that must be pretty good. But you know what? Let's go ahead and try the... The whatever this part is called. What is this? Increases energy weapon. <sighs> See, now that sounds pretty good as well. Or turning speed. The thing is, do I have enough slots for these? You know what? Screw it. I want turning speed. Oh, you have 12 slots. Okay, never mind. I think... I'm as well equipped as I could be. Let's try this new mission. What is this? Eliminating. It's weird how this game locks you out of certain missions sometimes. I guess there's like some... I'm guessing it has to do with that like little familiarity meter with the corporations. I'm guessing it's like... You guys remember GTA 2? That was a pretty solid game. How you like had to like juggle the factions and everything. Whatever. Many portions of this area were damaged in a series of earthquakes a few years back. It has been deserted since, and access is strictly prohibited, even now. However, someone 
Everyone seems to be ignoring this fact, as there are signs of activity everywhere. We don't know what might be going on. You mean we don't know what's going on? That is some like. <laughs> It's weird, like, you see misspellings so rarely in games nowadays. GG's translation team. I'm sure you made minimum wage, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna diss you. I know what it's like being overworked. Oh my god, this is so much better. This is what I talk about when I say that. Holy shit. So, this laser weapon is excellent. Um, I mean, we still have our missile. Wanna keep that. And also, sort of, try to conserve ammo. What do we actually need to do here? I, like, wasn't paying attention, so... so just kill everyone. That's a safe bet. And this weapon is so incredibly powerful. AC crossback identified. AC crossback? Is this a boss fight? Look at that dude. He looks like a bitch. So basically this is a sector that should have been abandoned but is in pristine condition. I'm guessing there's some fuckery going on here. Um, just gonna lightly point out that there might be a bit of it. Just like here and there. Cool. Oh, the guy didn't come from here. I'm guessing this arena is like mirrored or something. Alright, we got you fam. Don't worry, I'm coming for you. There he is! Oh shit. This is a boss fight. Shit! He's so fast. What the hell, bruh? Yeah, like this is what I'm talking about. How the hell are you supposed to do this with your like standard Mac? If you've not been like upgrading or you've been upgrading the wrong things. Jesus. I'm assuming, unlike us, this guy has infinite ammo. Yeah, I'm so screwed. I didn't think it'd be this difficult. Oh my god. That was like weirdly, weirdly difficult, even with this like advanced setup. Holy shit. I need to get that thing that increases the energy weapon damage or something. Man, this guy, like, this guy was tough. I mean, this is a FromSoft game, so who am I kidding? But yeah. Still, GG's. Oh my god, 2k? Eat shit game. Like, who's deducting me? Like, I'm pretty sure what happened is that corporation betrayed me. So, like, who the hell is deducting all this shit from my pay? Man. All right.
Well, we're definitely 100% gonna save after that. Thank you for your help. The decision to seal off Sector 513 was that of the controller. We must follow orders. The rules governing layered are set in place for a reason. They maintain... Yeah, 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 yeah. These... So basically, this world is ran by ChatGPT. Which is pretty bad, if you ask me. So, I'm assuming we're gonna have a little chat with ChatGPT at the end. Alright. These guys are trying to, like, mislead. Whatever happened in that sector, I don't think it was closed because of the earthquake damage. Yeah, there was no damage. According to everything, I blah, 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 blah. Super breach sector were members of the underground organization Union. Alright. What is going on in Layered? Oh man, someone is gonna get it in the end. Cool. What can we do now? Oh, four sectors now. This is something. 32. Defend the personnel convoy. And what is this? Safeguard the capsules. Both defense missions. Let's do this one. What? What do you mean zero? I'm gonna have to check this out. Why is it zero? On account of your hard work, control of the grand mining facility has been secured. Kisaragi is incensed by this and has put forth a concerted and they know the mine's layout better than our people. And as it stands, we are our plans are underway for a structural refurbishing of the mine, which necessitates the removal of all of them. We'd like you to watch over the convoy. You'll be compensated depending on the number of units that make it out safely. Okay. Please see that they do. I got you. Don't worry. This should be easy money. I was like, they better not be like messing with my pay. Tell me about it. Oh, come on. There's a lot of them. Oh, they're already dying. Yeah, this ain't gonna work. I think this is a reload, if I've ever seen one. I'm gonna get like jack shit for that, aren't I? I mean, I did it all the way through before I reload to see what happens, but... Yeah, 2k. <sighs> Is that it? That's it. Yeah, that went a lot better. Let's see how much money we actually make. Um head to the escape point if you want in. I'm not sure. Like I have three bullets left. Screw it. This didn't happen the first time around. Maybe I did like extra well. Mission request accepted. Moving to the central terminal. Please tell me. I get a refill, please tell me. Because <laughs> otherwise, I am so screwed here. Okay, thank fuck. Alright. 
All right, I got you, man. I don't know what you're talking about, but... I know an AC when I see one, so... Oh, man. I try to bunny hop, but... There ain't much space. There he is. That's an AC, right? Um, what the hell are these people talking about? Look at him, he's like tiny. I don't like that it's two on one though. It's like a little drone helping him out. That I'm trying to take out but... Oh my fucking god. What is going on? What the hell is going on? Why am I taking so much damage? I have zero clue what the hell just happened there. What is going on in this game? Look at how much... Okay, this is a reload. Fuck this. All right, I redid it. I'm guessing there's gonna be no, yeah, there's no bonus mission. I guess it depends on how well you do, cause I did terribly there. Fucking hell, I lost money. Ugh, screw this, seriously, screw this. Okay, so failing that previous mission Unlocked a new mission for me, so this one seems easier. I'm trying this one. Let's see what happens. I get an actual cutscene. 25k reward. Don't ask me what the hell we actually need to do. I wasn't paying attention during the briefing. Wow, I'm getting slaughtered here. What the fuck, man? Whoa. That is a lot of enemies all coming at me. All right. Guessing that green dot is the supply vehicle? No. Oh, there it is. Um. And you take damage while it. No. Oh. Seriously? Um. I don't get this game. Uh, I honestly don't understand this game. Yeah, wow, that is a terrible background. 
I think people, this is going to be the last part of my Armored Core 3 career. Man, I keep trying this game, but I'm just not getting it. Maybe, maybe the game is a little bit too old, but I don't even think it's that. I just find the controls extremely clunky. I don't really know what you're supposed to do, like with your AC setup or all that. And yeah, it's just, it's the controls mainly. The turning is horrible. The lock-on is all over the place. I, I just can't get into the groove of this game. I'm really trying. I thought this new setup would be a little bit sort of more uh, like smooth, make the game a little bit smoother, especially after I got the quicker turn thing, but it's just not been it. These missions are just not enjoyable. I'm not having fun with them. I keep dying, I keep reloading, but it's just not working out. So yeah, I don't know, maybe this game is a little bit too old, maybe I need to read up more on setups and all that, but it's not even that. Like I said, it's the controls. I'm having a lot of trouble getting used to the controls. The D-pad feels weird, the mech turns, even with the quick turn thing, feels very slow. Yeah, like I said, the lock-on is just impossible to work with, it just keeps jumping around. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but yeah. This game, I'm not having as much fun with it as last time. And that was pretty much the experience in the last two weeks as well. Um, there is a reason why there hasn't been an episode. I kept trying. Yeah, I had the shitty setup there, but I guess it wasn't just the setup that contributed to it. So yeah, good game. I mean, obviously AC6, when it comes out, is going to have a way smoother gameplay experience because it's going to be a new game. Maybe I'll try some of the newer games. Maybe this one is just a little bit too old. But yeah, I just didn't enjoy this as much as I thought I would. So yeah, I think that's going to be it for AC3. Thank you everyone who watched. I gotta switch out this background, man. Why do I have a text there? Okay, whatever, that's for later. Thanks everyone for watching this episode and the previous one. Still, if you did enjoy this series, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe. But yeah, to quote avoiding the puddle, this game is officially getting flushed. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone and see you in whatever else I do next. Take care and peace out. Mm -hmm.